and good morning. And I'm just on the way, driving in. You can probably hear the traffic to Hampton Court. And we're on our last morning, and today it's beautiful. It's it's not raining for a change, and I think the memory I'll have of this is like an hour of rain and an hour of sunshine and beautiful summer sunshine when it's out. But then you can always see the next cloud coming. Is it has been the uh, pretty much the set of events. Anyway, I was just uh, listening to the BBC News this morning, and. Um, it came up with quite a significant story that the British Army uh, is now going to supply three and a half thousand people uh, to deal with security, to top up um, a company called G4S who had the main contract and um, 15 days to go before the event and all of a sudden we're 3,500 people short of the security requirement and the army taking over. Now, that all sounds um, fairly disastrous and you've got government ministers coming on and blaming G4S <coughs> um, for, for what's gone on. And that may well be the case. It may be they've made an error, I don't know. Or certainly, obviously, they contributed to it. But, um, you know, it's, it, it's strange because there's an awful lot of things going on at the moment and it isn't all smooth running, um, uh, as these things rarely are. And, you know, it will happen, but getting over the line, which is what everybody's talking about, is, is not proving to be easy. And there are specific places where, um, and I have to be a bit careful on, I'm not going to name names, places or anything, which I, I believe are, are really, really having a bit of a struggle at the moment. And part of the, the struggle they're having seems to be from within rather than without. And what you have here with the Olympic Games is a, a, a bunch of people at the top end of it, and there's a very big bunch of people at the top end of it, who are a very inflexible um, in some ways, an immobile group of people who find it quite difficult to make decisions. And to be absolutely frank, consequently, that's why I'm here and doing what I'm doing at the moment, because nobody made a decision based on something that should have happened five years ago. So um, here we go, you know, my good fortune, and I'm not obviously complaining about that. Um, in between the group of people who are at the top and making the decisions are a group of people at the bottom of the, at the other end of the chain who are actually delivering and contracting and supplying into the venues and most of these to be absolutely frank I mean I'm a little bit biased because I know most of these people and they're, they're very well intentioned and they're pretty good at doing what they've done they've done World Cups different global sporting events in different places and in between them are sitting another group of people who are acting on behalf of the top group and sitting between the bottom group and they would appear to be making it just about as difficult for anybody to do anything uh, at any time um, and this is speculative and I have to say it's alleged because I'm going on what people have um, friends of mine and colleagues of mine and people I've individually met have reported uh, uh, as, as happening in these venues um, and just, I mean, to give you an example of what, what um, I'm, again, was specifically told and uh, reported by a colleague of mine uh, a while ago, was that on Midsummer's Day, so the longest day in the year, they were wearing safety glasses. And these are safety glasses. And you can see they're like sunglasses. And when it got to 5 p.m., which on that day, it wouldn't get dark until probably 10 or 11 o'clock at night in the UK, people from this controlling group and the people who gave the orders came around and anybody who was wearing sunglasses was stopped from working because they might not be able to see something in the bright daylight and as it was evening time they then had to go to clear glassed safety glasses and you know I mean that's just one example and it, 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 it obviously would appear on the surface to be very very petty um, there are all kinds of other aspects to this where um, I, I think more seriously that um, people have been impeded. Now we have 15 days left to go. I think the phrase is, you know, you'll see how it goes and I'll either be very right or I'll be wrong, but I think personally this is going to go right to the wire as to certain elements being ready. Um, and we'll see, you know, I'll be proven right or wrong, won't I? And then uh, <laughs> I'll either know what I'm talking about or I'll have to make some level of uh, statement to the contrary. Anyway, there we go. I just want to let you know and have a little chat about that. And um, that's my week this week. Um, I'm uh, going to show you one more thing when I go past, which is where I am in the venue and why they've chosen to come here. And uh, then we'll uh, call it a day. So I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.